y'all welcome back to another episode of cooking with you girl okay it's been so long i'm not gonna lie it's been a minute and i have definitely been getting ready to make some magical stuff for y'all in the process um basically today we about to do a little bit of some mexican rice it's gonna be a little mexican rice with a little bit of healthiness more to it instead of white rice today usually i use white rice but for the first time today i am going to be using wild rice um this is one of my favorite rices but i have definitely never made it in a mexican style type vibe so if i can make my mexican rice just a little healthier a little bit more alkaline that's the goal y'all already know all right so basically here's my rice this is what it looks like and what you do is you're supposed to cook it on the stove with a little bit of oil i already put the the oil in there i have already um browned it a little bit so you're gonna brown and see how golden brown that is okay you see the smoke coming off okay i don't want to burn my rice so basically what we're gonna do scoop this in here and we're gonna put this in a rice cooker because y'all know i ain't got time to be washing washing my food all day we're gonna put this in here Okay, I'll probably fast forward this part. Now look at that, look at that. Okay, now, bam, all the rice is gone. We got the rice and the rice cooker. This is one of my favorite recipes because it's really simple. I am, you know, vegan. I love Mexican rice, plus I love Mexican rice. It's like my go-to. Um, I eat it almost once a week or twice a week all right so for the next thing let me show y'all what it's looking like okay got that in there looking good and spicy got the smoke coming off smell the brownness so this is a real simple recipe you are going to take you some vegetable broth okay i use vegetable broth no you know whatever your preference is a little bit of vegetable broth and basically with however much rice you put in the cup you just double it okay so i put a half a cup so I'm gonna put a whole cup of vegetable broth in here. I'm gonna have to go buy some more cause I'm about to make me some garbanzo beans, baby. Bam, got the vegetable broth. You just simply put that in there. Y'all hear that? Y'all heard the sizzle? Sizzle, AKA sizzling baby. And then for my ingredients, I like to use, I have a pack right here already ready. This is my favorite. If I had the tomato one, I really love the tomato one. I only have one more tomato left. It's really good, but because I kind of already have um, tomato paste, I should be fine. So what we're gonna do is take these, I'll put about two packets, maybe three if I'm feeling spicy. I like seasoning, you know? I want my food to be tasteful. Okay, look at this coming out. It's red. I'm gonna put that right on in there. I'm gonna show y'all, okay? Okay, sunshine been cooking, okay? I feel like all I do is make food at home. Like, I don't even eat out really no more. And I ain't gonna lie, like, I've been eating it out, like, since, like, this year, starting January, every time I have went out, I don't care if I went to one of my, I went to my salad place the other day and tried to get me a cute little salad, you know, a vegan little salad. I'm about to eat my food where I take a big old bite of my salad. Why when I'm biting my salad, it was a hair on my lip? Oh, no. Y'all know I, that was jacked up. Y'all had they oh, oh, drop that in there. Oh, technical difficulty. Why was there hair on my food? So then, I went to this real, like, popping ass place in Hollywood, right? And um, sorry, I'm licking my fingers, y'all, but I'm the only one probably going to be eating this. My family is my family, so they can eat. And I didn't double dip. You know, I didn't put my fingers back in there. So, anyway, sorry. Long story short, I went to this restaurant I got for my birthday. We was eating, and why was there hair on my rice? Bam. So, not my rice. My baby's rice. So, we go to this other spot, right? I go to Rubio's. And, 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 and uh, this is a whole other city. Santa Monica, I'm over there about to, I'm eating my food. I thought I saw some hair on my food. This is the next ingredient we put in here. Tomato paste, organic, baby. We go to Rubio's. 
I'm over there eating my little Mexican, you know, bowl, my little vegetable with the, mm, it was so good, right? So I'm eating it, bam, eating it, it's fire, fire, right? All of a sudden, there's a hair on my lip. I said, I know there's not a hair on my lip. Like, I've had so much hair in my food. I don't know if y'all need to go back to the, the old days where people wear hair nets or whatever the case may be, but they have, I've had so much hair in my food lately that I don't even want, I just, I'm, I'm overeating out right now. I've just been eating in the house. Like, okay. So you're going to put a little tomato paste in there. Okay. I'll show y'all. All right, get a little tomato paste in there. That's what it's looking like. All right, I'm gonna stir it up. And that's it. Now you're gonna put the top on there. And in 30 minutes, y'all, and in 30 minutes, y'all, we're gonna have the final result. So I'm gonna be back in 20, 30 minutes. I already got some beans I made. If y'all like eating pinto beans like me or black beans, or I've learned how to make so many beans now, like I am the queen of beans. <laughs> Woo, okay. So bam, I'll be back in 30 minutes. We are gonna see the final result of the rice. All we are gonna do now is put the top on the rice cooker, push that baby on cook, and let it cook if you make this for, okay i'm not even gonna talk about how good it is until y'all see the end but y'all see i got my blue hair popping you know i try to switch it up for y'all period got the abs still fleeky okay still popping all right y'all so i'm gonna be back in 30 minutes and hey, y'all so i am back bitty 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 okay anyways y'all i'm back with the final result for the rice let's see how it came out y'all Got my plate, I got my spoon, I got my taster. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all know it's the first time I ever made um Ooh, y'all see the steam? You can't even see the steam. It's looking good though. It's looking good. Y'all know I like my Mexican rice extra. I'm gonna go ahead and make me a little sopa. But I just want y'all to see it. Okay, y'all see the steam coming off? Fresh. Now, you gotta put it to the test. It's hot, I'm gonna burn my mouth. Mmm. I want y'all to know that this is just as amazing as using white rice. So from now on, I am definitely gonna be using my mixed rice. Mmm. Anyways, you know, y'all, if y'all wanna see me make a sopa, I can show y'all my end result. But I love these things. They are made out of corn tortillas. Um, you put some beans on top. This a little salsa, a little avocado juice. Mm -mm -mm. That's it. But until next time, y'all. I hope y'all like my recipe. If you are gonna try my rice, tell me how you liked it, and if you make it, and if it tastes as good as mine, which I know it will. Holla for me. Holla for a dollar.